Hello, I'm Amit and in this tutorial I'll show you how to receive notifications for Google Forms on your mobile device. It works something like this. You have a Google Form, someone submits that form and you get an instant real-time notification on your mobile device. You could be carrying an iPhone, an iPad or an Android and the notifications would still arrive. Setting up mobile notifications for Google Forms is very simple and you just need three things. You need a Google Form that people will fill. You need the IFTT app that's available for free on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And you obviously need a mobile device where the notifications would arrive. So before I jump into the implementation, let me show you a live demo of how everything works. So here I have a very basic Google form for event registration. Now this uh, form asks for a few fields like the user's name, their city, the preference for their session and the email address. Now it's a very basic form but you can obviously use very complex forms as well. So the idea is that when somebody submits this form, I should receive a notification on my mobile device. So let, let me quickly fill this form and see how the notifications would look like. So the, the form has been filled and the user is about to press the submit button. So I'll quickly pu pull up my iPhone screen and uh, as soon as the user hits the submit button, you see that a notification has arrived on the iPhone. If you look at the notification carefully, you'll see that it's not a generic notification that's saying that a new form has been submitted. It has the actual form values. So the user's name, the user's uh, preference for the session, the user's city, all this information is in the form notification itself. So I have a lot of information about the form entry without actually looking into the Google form. So let's submit another entry, but this time I'll use an Android device. So the form has been submitted, I pull up my Android phone, pull down the notifications bar and there you have the notifications. All very simple, very useful. Now that you have seen the demo, let's set everything this up on a live form. So first go to the IFT Triple T website, ifttt.com and create your account. Next under your profile, you'll choose an option to create a new applet. Now applets are simple if then conditions. If a particular condition is met then perform a certain action. Now in our case the condition is whenever a new Google form is submitted and the action is we want to send a notification out to our mobile devices. So in the condition I'll choose maker as the service. I'll create an event that will be called Google Forms. Now you can have any event name but in case you are having multiple Google Forms for which you want to receive notifications, you should have unique event names for every single Google Form. Now in the action I'll choose notification because I want to send out a notification to all mobile devices and uh, here I need to specify the text of the notification. Now this is the generic text that I don't want to use so just delete everything and put value one here inside double angular brackets. All set, click the create action button to make your applet live. So our applet is now ready and we need to configure our Google form. So the first thing you need to do is install the notifications add-on for Google forms. Now you can find the link to install the add-on at labnol.org slash forms. If you already have this add-on just skip this step. Now open your Google form and under the add-ons menu choose email notifications for forms. Now if you don't see this option that means you haven't installed the add-on yet. It's available at labnol.org slash forms. After you click the email notification for forms option choose the mobile notifications option. And this will offer you an option to connect your Google form with the IFTTT applet that you have just created in the previous step. Here we need to specify the event name. Now if you remember our event name was Google Form, so we'll just uh, put Google Form in the event box. Next you need to specify the key. Now you can find this key in your applet itself. So go to your applet, uh, choose Maker and then choose Settings and you'll see the key somewhere at the bottom. Next comes the most interesting part and that is the text of the notification. What will appear on our mobile screens? So for this form, I want the name, the city and the session that the user has chosen to appear in our 
notification so for instance the final notification would look something like this angus from seattle registered for the developer session so this can be done very easily all you have to do is add the form field names into your notification text now you don't have to type those names because there's a little drop down that shows a list of all the various form fields that you have in the form so you can just select a field from the drop down and it will appear in the notification text when somebody submits a form these these variables will be replaced with actual form values that the user has entered into the form we are almost done now you can press the test button to test the connection between your mobile phone and google forms and if the connection is working press save and mobile notifications for this google form would be enabled instantly i hope you like this you can download the add on from labnol.org/forms thanks